forward roll from the knees. There's a few things you want to check before you start. So first of all, uh, the legs, they should be in a triangle. If they're on the, the knee and the foot is on the same line, the balance is not really strong. So make sure that the foot, the front foot, is in the middle. Now there's the triangle. So now we are in good straight stance. The same here. So there's a few different ways you can do that. If you're still a beginner and learning to do this, there's, and it's hard, uh, first of all, make sure that your front arm, front hand is placed facing towards yourself, and it always stays straight. In a sense, it's round, you just make sure you don't bend the elbow. If you bend the elbow and you roll, it's going to hit the mat pretty hard. If it's straight, you can roll from the hand. Now the second thing, if you're not able to do this, and the ground seems too far, there's one trick you can try to use. So first of all, the hand is here. You can try to put the second hand far away. So this is not a basic roll, this is a, an exercise to get you comfortable. So place it here. So now the whole secret is to not skip any part of the arm. So the whole arm has to touch the mat. So if you place your hand here, and you stand slowly up. You want to, as I told you, you want to touch the whole arm, so starting from here. So I stand up, put my weight here, and I touch the whole arm and roll from here. So I'll try it again on the other side. Here, putting the weight on the front hand, supporting yourself, lifting up the back knee, and touching the whole arm, and pushing your foot forward. So this should get you the feeling of rolling forward, having a straight arm, and this will help you to experience the exercise. Now the second thing you should look at is your hips. So even if you're in advanced uh, Aikidoka, sometimes that happens even in the advanced levels. So look at this. So your hips shouldn't go far up. If they're going up, the mat is going far further from you, and it's harder to, to keep a good conduct. So try to go forward as if you're sliding on the mat rather than going up. So not here, rather here. So forward. So that will help you do this well. The last thing, if you want to become really good at it, you can try this exercise. So you can call it a ninja roll. So basically, what you can do, try to be as silent as you can. But the hakama won't work so well. So you can hike up your hakama. But try to be as silent as you can. So no sound. If you're able to do that, that means you're, you have a good sense of your body. And that means your can will be very good. So try to be silent. video tutorial make sure you press the like button and also press the subscribe button on the video so you could follow our channel where we bring you all the Aikido demonstrations tutorials seminars and even more if you have any questions about the tutorial let us know in the comments and also if there's any Aikido video that you miss or need on YouTube that is not there let us know as well and we'll do our best to bring it to our channel as best and as soon as we can